Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how to do the count if less than equal to and greater than equal to, which means it's uh, using two parameter of uh, formula or two criterion. Criteria. Okay. Now I have. Uh, first, I want to do the example, uh, simple example, to you to make uh, to give you better understanding of these videos i have one two three four five six seven eight of data it's only ordinary number now i want to count uh, how many data how many numbers that less than eight and greater than one so i just hit the equal the function we use is count if don't forget the f is the count s and then i drag the data a1 to a8 and then comma quotes open the quotes greater than one and then comma again a1 to a8 comma again and then open the quotes less than eight and close the bracket it should be the result returns number of six why because greater than one means two three four five six seven eight but the boundary is less than eight means uh, from seven to two numbers so i hit enter now returns the numbers is six same as i predict before now what if I put equal? So you just put equal after this operator, the greater than operator or the less than operator. Now I have 8 in the result. What if it's greater than 4? Just hit the, this edit enter 4. Okay, this one the simple, very simple example. Now I, I go to the further example that little bit complex i put a b a b a b a b so i want to count how many b's on the data here that less than eight and greater than one it should be returned one two three so uh, now i want i will uh, 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 use the function count if don't forget the S and then I drag this one okay is uh, equal to B means B okay and then I drag the A to A8 column comma greater than 1 and then again a to a8 column less than 8 equal it should be the result is 3 now i have the result 3 as i mentioned before because uh, between 1 to 8 value only this value and how many b's is inside the this value is 1 2 3 b's there are 3 b's on this function or on this domain okay that's it our tutorial today if you have any question please put on the comment below if you like please subscribe our channel thank you bye bye